Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, let's talk about uh, gate 2022 most important question on steady state error due to disturbance in in this question there are couple of inputs okay one is the reference input and one is the disturbance input okay acting on it so we have to find the steady state error you know the steady state error how it is defined okay so basically we have to calculate that and i am also going to highlight you where you are going to commit mistake so this question was for two marks okay from the control system it was very easy question right so let's solve okay so this problem was asked in gate uh, 2022 and there are, there is a block diagram given the block diagram of a closed loop control system is shown in the figure rs and bias and ds are the laplace transform of the time domain signals rt by t and dt respectively let the error signal be defined as et is equal to so your error signal is defined as what et is equal to is equal to rt minus by of t assuming reference input rt equal to 0 so you have to make see you have to make the reference input 0 when you are trying to calculate the dist, uh, study state error for the disturbance disturbance input right so you have to find the study state error e infinity due to unit step disturbance right your dt is given here as u of t so there are two gain blocks you can say this is g1 and this is g2 let let me draw one new uh, block diagram for you so this is going to be your reference right you can say r of s and this is going to be your g1 forget about those uh, uh, you know and here in between two blocks okay, there is a disturbance acting on it that is ds plus now you can take uh, the output this is g2 and this is your by of s there is a unit unity feedback okay so it is very easy to calculate the error for unity is unity feedback system right so they have given here that is minus plus this is very very easy now so your e of s is present here e of s now what you can do here is you have to make this rs0 when you are trying to calculate the study state error so you know i have written everything in laplace domain okay we have to use in the end what the final value theorem right let's see can can somebody tell me that what is going to be the first step yeah, to calculate the steady state error the very first step is should be you have to calculate es upon ds so if you are taking es upon ds if you are going to calculate es upon ds so here you can say that es is your output now okay because because of this input ds okay so let me write the transfer function without drawing any kind of uh, again the without uh, you know going for you know those 10 steps which you follow okay to calculate the um, to calculate the uh, overall you know gain or transfer function of the uh, block diagram okay you don't have to use block diagram reduction kind of thing let's go for mason's gain formula so es upon ds is what first of all you have to trace the forward path gain so you start what is forward path gain you have to start from input and go to the output so whatever gain is there you have to write so let me yeah, yeah this is uh, okay this is the input and uh, okay via unity feedback and there is a yes so there is a negative sign as well don't forget this okay many people forget this negative sign so es upon ds is going to be what it will be minus g2 because there is only one gain one gain block is there oh, now you write the one there is a negative feedback so you can say that it will be positive and write down the what the loop gain that is g1 into g2 this i have written directly by inspection using mason's gain formula right so this is your es and upon ds so what you can do here is 
es is equal to you can write minus g2 times ds upon 1 plus g1 g2 so now you can use uh, what you can use uh, f dt that is final value theorem what final value theorem says that if you are applying limit x uh, i mean t tending to infinity x of t you can write in laplace domain that s tending to 0 s x of t. okay so there are some constraints some limitation of final value theorem but uh, at this moment we don't need to uh, understand what is the limitation and everything we have to finally obtain uh, the steady state error keeping in mind that in the numerator there is g2 present don't keep g1 okay because in hurry you might keep g1 as well now you can say that ess is going to be limit t tending to infinity t of t because e of t is going to be what limit s tending to 0 s now you can plug this uh, you know expression what you have found out for steady state error that is e s a key fear right so moving forward limit uh, s tending to 0 s times okay there is a minus g2 g2 of s that is right remember and this is uh, d of s on 1 plus g1 and g2 that is the loop gain g1 and g2 now they have given in the question you have to find the steady state error because of unit step because of this guy okay so what is the laplace transform of unit step that is 1 by s you have to always keep this in mind okay so let me go ahead so keep uh, in this in this expression okay so this is e f e s s is equal to limit s tending to 0 s into d s d s is 1 by s and keep minus g2 upon 1 plus g1 and g2 you can cancel uh, these two guys s and s no problem moving forward keep all the g1 and g2 in this okay substitute all okay or you can say plug plug here uh, g1 and g2 so you have seen in the question what this is g1 and this is g2 right so this is g1 g1 is 10 g2 is this 1 by s okay so this is regular model okay we always discuss in the classroom okay g1 and g2 because of disturbance what will be the study state error so your g1 is 10 limit s tending to 0 g1 is 10 i mean don't keep g1 again i have i'm going to uh, make mistake here right so keep g2 there g2 is going to be 1 upon s into s plus 10 on 1 plus no g1 that is 10 upon into s plus. okay so moving forward if you will simplify this guy so s tending to 0 See in the denominator s into s plus 10 will be there so you can cancel them right so it is going to be minus 1 upon uh, s into s plus 10 plus 10. so now you can just keep s equal to 0 so this will be completely 0 your overall answer will be 1 upon 10 this is minus 0 point so this question can be done okay this question can be done within uh, only 30 seconds right because there is some calculation so okay so i hope this uh, question is understood how to solve this question right that is the motivation suppose uh, this question is in front of you so you have to read it okay they are supposed to ask uh, study state error due to step input okay yes great answer so answer for this question is g minus 0 0.1 don't forget minus otherwise one so you will get two marks i hope this solution is uh, uh, understood by you we'll meet in the next session with a new concept thank you